Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are doing well. This is the first topic of class 3 subject sign. Today we will discuss about living things. Now, dear student, you know that we have so many things around us. Some of them are living things and some of them are non-living things. So how can we differentiate between living things and non-living things? It is only possible with the help of their characteristics. Characteristics being their features. Number one move like living things can move from one place to another number two living things can grow with time gradually they grow slowly slowly number three living things breathe living things can breathe in with their different body organs or parts that is human beings and animals which live on land breathe in with their lungs plants take in carbon dioxide from the air fish in the water breathe with their gills the next one is living things feel change around them like living things can feel everything which is happening around them they can feel the changes number four living things can reproduce living things have babies living things have babies they can reproduce next living things can get rid of waste after eating food that is the uh, process of digestion they can get rid of waste products from their body Okay, now we will discuss about vertebrates and invertebrates. Invertebrates are those animals which have a backbone. And invertebrates are those animals which do not have a backbone. Vertebrates are further divided into five classes. That is mammals, birds, fish, amphibians and reptiles. And invertebrates are worms and insects. Now, we will discuss about all these classes. Before starting these classes, I am telling you about warm-blooded animal and cold-blooded animal. Warm-blooded animals are those animals which body temperature change according to the surrounding. And cold-blooded animals are those animals which body temperature remain constant whatever the outside temperature is. Now mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animal. These are the these are the example of mammals that is dog, goat, cow. Now mammals are everywhere like in cold places or in hot places. In cold places polar bear live in cold places as well as in hot places uh, camels live in hot places. They breathe with their lungs. Human being is also a type of mammals. Whale is also a mammal which lives in water and it breathes with the help of their lungs. Next. The next one is birds. Birds are warm-blooded animals. Now you can see in the picture, here are some examples of the birds. Birds have a beak, two wings and jaws. Birds lay eggs. Their eggs are hard shell which helps them, which helps them in protection. The next one is fish. Fish is a cold blooded animal. Fish breathe. In the picture, this is an example of the fish. Fish is a cold blooded. You can see in the bottle, this is example of fish. Fish breathe with their gills to take in oxygen. Fish eat insects while some big fishes eat small fishes. Fish lay eggs in the water and that group of eggs are called spawn. The next one is amphibians. This, these are the example of amphibians, frog and salamander. Amphibians are cold blooded animals which is adapted to live in water as well as on land. They lay soft eggs in water. When they are tadpole, they breathe with their gills. But when they get older, most frogs grow lungs to help them to breathe on land. Most amphibians can breathe with their skin. The next one is the 
reptile this is the example this all are the example of reptile snake lizard tortoise reptiles are cold blooded animal they breathe with their lungs and their bodies are covered with scale most reptile lay eggs most reptile have four legs snake is the only reptile which do not have a legs invertebrate invertebrates are those animal which do not have a backbone the examples are worms and insects worms are round in shape or flat in shape the worms are found in the any uh, intestine of other animal as well as on land in water insects insects have three body part that is the head thorax and the abdomen some example of the invertebrates are crab uh, butterfly grasshopper and these all are the examples of the invertebrates that that this is a crab and this one is a worm thank so student the topic is clear to you now we are starting the reading of this one chapter this is page number 8 types of living things animals types of living things animals all animals can be put into one large group the animal group all living things look different we can divide living things into groups then we can learn about each group the large group animal can be divided into smaller groups called classes all animals that are alike can be put into the same class for example the cat tiger and lion can be put into one class animals with backbones there are five classes of animals which are alike in one important way the animals in each of these group have a skeleton a skeleton is made up of bones that help to support the animal the skeleton of some animals are given below fish frog human being these all are the skeletons of different animals these animals have a backbone which is made up of many small bones the backbone helps the animals to bend and move animals with backbones can be divided into five classes mammal fish reptile bird amphibian these are the animals with backbones animals with without backbones these are some classes of animals which do not have backbones they usually live in water they can be divided into the following classes animals with spiny skins they have rough skin with sharp needle like spines their bodies are divided into five parts they can swim in the water with small two feet examples include starfish and sea urchin with shell they live in water or on land they have soft bodies most of them have a heart shell covering their bodies examples include snails and oysters worms all worms have soft bodies they do not have legs they live on land and in water some live inside plants and the bodies of other animals their bodies may be round or flat examples include earthworm round worms and tapeworms animals with jointed legs All these animals have many legs with several joints. Their bodies are divided into many parts. They have a hard outer skin. A spider has 8 legs and no wings. A butterfly has 6 legs and 4 wings. A crab has 10 legs and no wings. Insects. The body of an insect has 3 parts: the head, the thorax and the abdomen. An insect has two compound eyes and two feelers on the head it has mouth parts that can chew or suck food the middle part of the insect's body is called the thorax and the legs and wings are jointed to it the last part of the insect's body is called the abdomen it contains all the organs or working parts of the body fish fish live in water they 
are of many shapes, colors, and sizes. All fish have backbone. They breathe in water through their gills. Most fish have scales on their skins. They swim in the water with their fins. Fish eat insects and plants. Some big fish eat smaller fish. Fish lay soft eggs in the water. A group of eggs is called spawn. Examples include cod, salmon, and sharks. Amphibians. An amphibian is an animal that spends part of its life in water and part of its life on land. Young amphibians live in water and breathe through their gills like fish. As they grow older, they breathe through their lungs and live on land. Just like fish, they lay soft eggs in water, which are called spawn. 2. They eat insects and plants. Examples include frogs, toads, and salamanders. Reptiles. Reptiles usually live on land. They have dry scaly skins. They breathe air through their lungs. They eat plants, insects, and small animals. They lay their eggs on land. The eggs have leather-like shells. Examples include lizards, snakes, crocodiles, and tortoise. Snakes have no legs and no eyelids and their ears are inside their heads. Birds, birds live on land. Their bodies are covered with feathers. The arms of birds are shaped to form wings. Most birds can fly with their wings. Birds eat many different kinds of things. They eat seeds, insects, plants and small animals. Birds have no teeth. They have sharp beaks and claws. They breathe through their lungs. Birds lay eggs in nests. The eggs have hard shells. Examples include sparrows, pigeon, ostrich and eagles. Mammals Most mammals live on land. Their skin is covered with hair or fur. They breathe through their gills. They eat different kinds of foods. They eat plants and animals. They do not lay eggs. They have babies. The mother feeds its babies on milk. So now student, we have done the reading of this chapter. I am giving you a homework that is space or draw five living things and non-living things in your copies. So now students, we are doing the exercise of exercise of this one chapter, living things and animals that is filling in the blanks. Number one, we can divide living things into dash group. In how many groups we divide living things? Yes, you are right. It is two. Next, smaller groups of animals are called what? Classes. Some animals have a hard skeleton made of dash. What is the answer? Bones. The dash bone is made up of small bones. Yes, the answer is bell bone. All worms have dash bodies. Is it soft or hard? The answer will be soft. Okay, the next. The starfish has sharp rough skin with sharp needle-like spines. Next, a spider has dash legs and dash wings. What will be the answer? Yes, it has eight legs. And how many how many wings? No wings. A butterfly has dash legs and dash wings. Six legs and four wings. A crab has dash and dash wings. A crab has how many? Legs. A crab has dash legs and dash wings. A crab has how many legs? Yes, it has ten legs and no wings. 
The last one. Animals with backbone can be divided into how many classes? That is five classes. Now students, I am giving you homework that is on page number 16. Question number 3 and 4. You have to do this question on your book. You have to do the labeling of honey and honeybee and fish. And also do question number four that is the characteristic the characteristics already given in the book but you have just write the name of the animals in front of these characteristics 